Hello everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. In this video, I'm gonna tell you something about the basic animation properties. So in this case, we have two layers, the background and the suitcase. And this is your, your main timeline. Here you're gonna be doing all your animating. So I want to animate this briefcase. So what I do then is I click this little button here to open the layer, uh, layer properties, uh, go to transform and open that again. And then uh, here I have all the, uh, I have some uh, properties like anchor point, uh, position, scale, rotation, opacity. So if I go to rotation and I like drag this out, you can see the, the numbers changing and you can see the thing, the suitcase is, uh, is turning around. Uh, position uh, the same, I can drag it or I can just move it with my, uh, with clicking on it. And I can scale it up or down. Uh, so, but I want to animate this. So just go into the timeline and let's say I just want this, uh, this suitcase to kind of uh, come from top to bottom. Uh, to the middle of the screen and then it also like rotates and it uh, grows bigger so for that we're going to uh, add some keyframes so first we're going to add a uh, let's do it a position keyframe like it needs to end here so let's say uh, if i put a, a keyframe here by by pressing do that again by pressing on this little icon the, the stopwatch i'll click it and it creates a keyframe which basically reminds the software like uh, on two seconds right here this you need to remind this position so if i go back and I uh, drag it up out of the screen, then you'll, you'll also see the, the, uh, the parameters moving. So if I move, you know, and uh, it, 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 autom it automatically, sorry, it automatically creates a new keyframe um, if I already added one. So I add one keyframe to remind this, and on this, on zero seconds, you know, the properties are changed, so it uh, automatically creates a new keyframe for you. So if I play, if I press spacebar, and there you go, it moves uh, It moves in, which is kind of boring. So let's make it a bit faster. There you go. And, but I also wanted to scale up. So if I click this one, I'll just zoom in on the timeline a bit. Uh, yeah. And I go to scale and it also needs to uh, be this big. So click scale and maybe here it starts at this size. So now, whoop. It uh, grows bigger and let's do a rotation also so again go go to this location and click the rotation so it reminds uh, that it's at zero percent right there and just go back and turn it around a bit something maybe a bit further back like there and then I press spacebar and then whoop, there it is so that's basically how you animate uh, every layer you want um, in the timeline you create you create keyframes and if I now if I wanted to move, uh, if I wanted to stand here for a while, I'll go to position, click on it again. So it now, then I can create my own extra keyframe, but the, the property stays the same. Then I go a bit uh, to, the to the right and then I'll shove it to the left. And there you go. It creates another keyframe just to move it out of the way. You know, and this doesn't really look that great. Uh, but in my next video, I'll show you how to ease these movements out. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.